Hey everybody, my name's Dan and I'm a freshwater ecologist at Hawke's Bay Regional Council. And this is my best mate Sophie. Over summer, we love coming down to the river and chucking a few sticks and having a swim. But often when we talk to people about what we get up to, I get questions like, isn't the tuki tuki toxic? Or isn't that going to kill your dog? And the truth is that's not quite the case. So we thought we'd come down today and do a short video just so you guys can um, understand the risks around the toxicity of the algae and make your own informed call as to whether it's safe for you to come down and enjoy the awesome river. The fact is, it's unavoidable. Over summer, when we get warm temperatures and low flows, we get blooms of all sorts of algae in our rivers. It could be long green, long brown, the types of algae you see behind me here, and those ones are totally fine for human and dog health. The one that poses a bit of a risk is the black mat algae called formidium that potentially produces toxins which are bad for humans and dogs. That being the case, just because you might see some black mats of formidium on the river bottom doesn't mean it's necessarily unsafe for you and your family to visit. The greatest risk you get from this formidium is from ingestion, so that means eating it. So for that reason, young kids and dogs are our most at risk group because they're the ones that might be playing or foraging in the river's edge where this algae can wash up. For that reason, it's pretty crucial that you know what to look out for you when you're down in the river so that you can make an informed decision on whether it's safe for you, your family and your pets to be visiting. So here's a spot where you're likely to encounter formidium growing on the rocks. It's usually found in these faster flowing areas and it loves bedrock and stable or larger rocks. Right, here's a rock with formidium on it which I've found in this fast flowing bit here. You can see it's really distinctive. It looks like nothing else in the river really. It's got a um, browny, greeny, leathery look to it. And it also smells really earthy. And that's the part that attracts dogs to it. You can see I'm touching it here. Um, some people, it's really rare, but some people might develop a rash or skin irritation. So it's probably best to avoid touching it if you can. So here's probably a place I'd avoid bringing a dog or a small child because it is present in the shallows. And the fact is that even a small amount, when it is producing toxins, can be really harmful to your young kids or a dog. So just avoid a spot like this. So we've seen what it looks like growing on the rocks. And I've taken the dog and we've done a bit of a walk up and down the reach that we're going to be hanging out at. And I've actually found one of these um, rafts that's come off the bedrock up there. It's the only one we've found in the whole big reach, so I've decided it's okay for me to have my dog down here. We're just going to avoid this particular spot and go and throw the stick over there. Um, if you found a lot more of these, it would probably be a good idea to take your kids somewhere else. But as I said, for adult swimming here, the risk is probably pretty low. At the Regional Council, we want everyone in the community to be able to come down and enjoy our rivers. There are inherent risks with everything you do, and formidium is one of them when you're coming down to the river. So it's up to you to know how to identify it and to make your own informed call on whether you're happy to be here or not. For me and Sophie, it's a bit of a no-brainer. If we can assess the risk and chuck a few sticks in, it's going to be a great day. We hope this video has helped you to identify Formidium and learn a bit, bit more about it so that you can identify it and make your own risk judgement about whether it's safe for you and your family and your pets. For more information, jump onto our website and search for hashtag swim. There you'll find a map showing our Formidium hotspots at river sites throughout the bay and an informative fact sheet there. Also, at many of our hotspot river sites, you'll find an information board at the river entrance where you can learn a bit more about it. Have a great summer, everyone.